day hero's welcome Friday as members of the Florida Task Force 2 pulled into I Drive. This group of FEMA search and rescue crews are on their way home to South Florida after spending the last 10 days in the Carolinas. Hold back tension on that boat. Hold back a little tension. Rescuing those trapped in Florence floodwaters. The, these men and women behind me, they, they put their lives on the line. I know this sounds cliche, but if, if you had the ability, if the public had the ability to see just how perilous, how dangerous that swift water rescue was, uh, all it would take is one person to take a wrong step and would fall into that fast moving water and they're going downstream. There's nothing we're going to do to stop that. These clips show some of the crew's approximately 40 rescues, and while most were successful, Duenas says one rescue involving a mother and her one-year-old baby caught in swift waters left them with heavy hearts. It, it was still very heartbreaking for all of us to uh, not be able to bring uh, that one-year-old toddler back to his mom. Tonight, Duenas says the welcome they received from the Orange County Fire Rescue is a reminder that they are not alone. It's great. It speaks to the fact that uh, we're a brother and sister throughout. Sonic Adonge, West 2, the News Hour at 10.